In this video, we shall focus on the great form of the Lord Giriraj Maharaj. We shall cover the following points related to Giriraj Maharaj, the great mountain god of Braja. 1. Who is Giriraj Maharaj? 2. The story of how Mount Giriraj came to be recognized. 3. The Giriraj Annakup festival. 4. Story of Indradeva and Girigovardhan. 5. Details of how Annakup festival is celebrated. 6. Benefits of worshipping Giriraj Maharaj. 7. What is the Giriraj Chalisa? Click on the link in the first comment and become a part of the Spirit Meaning family. We require your help in maintaining this channel. Please consider donating to our channel so that we can come up with inspiring videos that promote spirituality amongst the common masses. If you like our videos, kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for our new videos. Also leave your views about this video in the comments section below. Govardhan Hill is also called Giriraj or the king of all mountains. In the honor of Govardhan, Giriraj Annakut festival is celebrated all over the world. Thousands of devotees assemble and celebrate this festival. Know that Giriraj is not a mountain as many ignorant people may believe. He is the living Lord who has appeared to bless his devotees. I find myself fortunate to reside at the foothills of Govardhan and spread the name of the Lord and his spiritual processes through this YouTube channel. Around 5000 years ago, Lord Krishna performed his pastimes on Mount Giriraj. Hence, Giriraji holds on his body the holy footprints of Lord Krishna himself. The history of Giriraj Maharaj is quite interesting. He is the son of the mountain named Dronachal, who is present in the North Indian state of Uttarakhand. Sage Tulastya, who is the son of Lord Brahma, wanted to take Giriraj with him to Kashi. So he approached Dronachal and asked for his consent. Fearing the curse of the sage, Mount Dronachal agreed to part with his son. However, Giriraji was very huge. Sage Tulastya argued that he could carry him on his hand using his yogic powers. Lord Govardhan agreed, but he had a condition as well. The condition was that Sage Ulastya should not place Giriraji on the ground. If that happened, he would not budge and remain at that spot forever. After mutual agreement, both of them reached Vrindavan Dham. Govardhan Maharaj was choked with emotion. He remembered the transcendental pastimes of Lord Krishna and became extremely heavy with emotions. Naturally, the tired sage placed him down. After a break, he tried to lift Giraji, but couldn't. So he had to leave the mountain at that very spot for good as per their earlier agreement. Enraged thus, the sage cursed Govardhan that every day the great mountain shall shrink by the size of a sesam seed. Later, the great sage relented and nullified the curse a bit by saying that in Dwapara Yuga, the great mountain shall get to witness the pastimes of Lord Krishna. Talking about the Annakut, there are many ways of celebrating the festival. During Annakut, devotees stack cow dung together and make an effigy of Lord Krishna with Mount Govardhan. A reminder, to the fact that when someone attains the mood of love for Sri Krishna, then that person shall attain divinity without fail. People worship that mold of Lord Krishna and Giriraji with flowers and perform Arati. One can be creative while decorating Govardhan. Before the puja, one can string flowers and make a garland for the Lord and thus decorate the mold. At the feet of the Lord, one can also offer Tulsi leaves which are very dear to the Lord. Others celebrate the occasion by stacking a heap of rice and 56 types of delicacies called chappan bo. One can choose either morning or evening time for the puja. I shall now narrate to you the history of Govardhan Puja. Indra, the king of the Devas, became arrogant with regards to his high position. 
to teach him a lesson lord krishna advised his people to stop worshiping indra and instead start worshiping govardhan the king of mountains lord krishna argued that govardhan was truly their benefactor the great hill supplied fresh grass for the cows and looked after them in fact it was govardhan who was responsible for the livelihood of the people of braja or vrindavan and not indra indra became furious and ordered the clouds to destroy vrindavan thereafter lord krishna lifted govardhan like an umbrella and saved the brajavasis from the ire of the lord of the devas giraj govardhan is a wish fulfilling tree he fulfills all the desires of his devotees anyone who prays to giriraj with a sincere heart shall have all his desires fulfilled according to some people govardhan puja is a part of annakut mohotsav however i am citing annakut and giriraj puja interchangeably govardhan annakut mohotsav is celebrated on the first day of shukla paksh just after diwali in the first 3 days of diwali one invites prosperity while on the fourth day one celebrates govardhan puja the most preferred months to celebrate govardhan puja are margarshis vaishak and kartika months devotees from all over the world come to witness the puja they offer ghee lamps and worship cattle which include cows and bulls people perform govardhan parikrama to obtain offspring increase one's life span and improve health some vaishnavas also do dandavati parikrama dandavati parikrama means to circumambulate the great mountain by offering continual prostrations on govardhan puja day the streets of govardhan town are extremely crowded the entire place vibrates with the name of the lord making it memorable for visitors now i shall cover a few benefits of giriraj puja there shall be no dearth of grains in the house married couples shall be blessed with obedient children unmarried girls shall get a faithful husband devotion to lord krishna shall increase manifold as govardhan is non different from lord krishna lord krishna himself has proclaimed that he and mount govardhan are one without any difference whatsoever in fact giriraj ji is more merciful as he is personally present with his devotees in his great mountain form in braja sadakas can meditate on the form of lord govardhan and attain goloka the spiritual abode of lord krishna lord giriraj improves the physique of a person making one beautiful and healthy one shall be promoted in a job if one sincerely prays for it to giriraj govardhan to be precise govardhan personally gets involved with the life of one who has dedicated his whole and soul to him he shall redeem one from debts and bless one with great fortune one's enemies shall no longer pose problems one can directly feel the involvement of lord krishna in one's life those who desire to reside in braja shall have their desire fulfilled the only condition is that the mind should be free from conceit and duplicity one's prayers should be sincere and heartfelt in govardhan there is a temple called giriraj mukharvin devotees can feel the presence of the lord in this temple especially on this day it is very auspicious to have darshan and perform parikrama during the festival as i said earlier during the annakut festival devotees offer 56 types of delicacies or chapan bhog for the lord some devotees even cook 108 types of dishes for the lord to increase devotion devotees sing the giriraj chalisa on this day giriraj chalisa is a special hymn in praise of mount giriraj similar to the hanuman chalisa which praises hanuman ji maharaj anyone who chants this chalisa is rid of all problems present and future the chalisa has the power to negate all bad karma this i am saying from a practical standpoint 
During the Annagut festival, all devotees come together and perform kirtana on the streets. Others who stay outside Braja celebrate Govardhan Puja at their homes by offering him a sweet dish such as kheer or rabadi. Giraji is very fond of milk. Hence, while doing parikrama, people carry a container which allows milk to leak. As they walk, a trail of milk follows. Outside their homes, people make colorful rangolis and diyas or lambs of clarified butter. At temples, the festival is celebrated on a grand scale. Bhandaras or food distributions are organized where not a single creature of Braja remains hungry. Lord Giriraj symbolizes the most benevolent form of Mother Nature. By celebrating Annakur, we thank Mother Nature for her priceless gifts to mankind.